and get your kiss on. Hi. Eh? Eh, nani go? Ego. Ego. Nihongo. Eh, Mexican go. Spango. Spango. It's a sign language. K E I. So the American sign language. Like. I'm starting this vlog out of nowhere. I'm here in my hometown of Kanazawa Buko, and this is so weird. So, what's okay. What's up, Casey Lillard? Bad news. What's up, Casey Lillard, man? Yeah, what's up, my Casey Dillard? So, you remember? Oh. You guys remember me, man? I would always go to this ramen spot right here. I always went to this ramen spot. All right, so I missed my Japanese middle school reunion. I was like kind of low-key slept through it, but also it's not completely my fault too. The announcements were kind of fucked up as well, but I actually uh, took the train all the way back to my home hometown because the reunion was in Yokohama, and then after everyone went to Kanazawa Bunko, that's where most people live. So yeah, I, I met up with everyone. I, like, the moment I got to the train station, there was already like people I knew. And I saw everyone, and it's like, it's cool. I saw people from my hand club, saw, saw people from my um, handball club, saw people from my class. All right, so my station is right here. This is where I would walk to go home. This is Suzidan Dodi right here. This is how I would walk to school. And this is Lina san yeah. And she was, in, she was the manager eh? in my handball team. Handball was, team? Oh my god, I love the vibes there now. This shit is so amazing. For some reason, it's all the people I knew. In, uh, from middle school that are here and they're waiting outside the place they're inside the place this whole place is filled up with Kanashu <laughs> students and it's like a coincidence what's that? What's... it's like a miracle yeah kind of miracle so everything's gonna be alright everything's gonna be alright <laughs> so we got Gunji-san we got Gunji we got Gunji we got Soichiro we got Tsuba Hey, oh, okay, yeah. Once you tag Basa. Once you tag the wrong Tsubasa when, when we hang out really? together. I think I did. You know these two from the vlogs? They did better than the vlogs. So. Yeah. Oh, these three, man. What do you mean? Oh, we got the drinks. Kanpai! Hey! What's in Japan? Put it out of the water. You drink it and you. Haku. Why would I drink it? Why would I drink it? That was the smallest cup of milk I've ever drank in my entire life. So, this is a Kendo Club. Kendo. Kendo. This is all the people of the Kendo Club. You know what it is? Uh, we're all here. We got my boy Mosan here. We got our shoes on. Seems like everyone's at this place. Yo, this is everyone from Kanachu. So those are some girls from the softball club and then uh, yeah we got some of the we got some soccer club here we got candle club we got track club we got some softball club here I remember all these kids yeah, but a, lot, a lot of kids from all kinds of clubs are out here so yeah no, I'm, honestly having such a good time I'm like I'm really uh, I, a lot of memories are coming back to me <laughs> It was just outside the Izakaya kind of house, but I think I'm gonna do some karaoke with some of the people here. This is Gunji. This is Gunji right here. Gunji. 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 So I'm with the boys right now. I'm with Ryosuke. Ryosuke. I'm with Kakun. You already know. And uh, so Ryosuke was in my you know? uh, Ninen Gokumi. Ninen Gokumi. Makiko sensei to? Yeah, so we were in the same grade. He's got dreads now. He's literally got dreads. He's, no, he's pimping out. It's crazy. Yeah, everyone's changed. This man's got like a perm and shit. His hair is. Okay, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna ruin it, but yeah. he got some nice hair. He's got some nice curly hair. This dude, fucking clone dude, he got his dreads as well. Man, this Everything's is the, gonna be alright. Yeah, exactly. It's the three musketeers with the dreads. <laughs>
So the other room, like most of the people that ended, they're in the hallways and stuff. But there's another room with kids from my class, uh, third grade, Nanakumi, seventh class. So this is this is my class. All these kids right here. This is Kaito. Happy. Oh, y'all gotta know this. Happy school days. The name Happy was inspired by this guy. His name's Happy. So yeah, that's how it happened. Bye bye. 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 So yeah, I got home after an hour and 30 minutes of train time. It was a journey. Sorry this video was so spontaneous. It was very in the moment. So yesterday I came back home after living in an internet cafe for seven days. I was very sick. I'm still pretty sick. But I got home yesterday and instantly hit the hay. And I woke up at 7 and the reunion was between 6 and 8.30. So I called Soichiro and I asked him, like, should I even come? He said, yeah, pull up. And so without taking a shower, without doing nothing, this is a reunion. Everyone was wearing suits and dresses. I was supposed to be fresh. This is the type of thing that you gotta take a shower for like you gotta take a shower for these kind of things i mean you should probably take a shower for most things i mean that should just be an everyday thing i'm not saying i only shower for middle school reunions but i take the train to shibuya i get there at 8 30 so the reunion was already over so i didn't take the train to yokohama where the reunion was because i didn't want to go there for no one to be there and waste like 10 bucks on that train money so yeah, i was in shibuya for like 30 minutes but then soichiro tells me that everyone's standing outside the building just talking and stuff so i was like I made two mistakes in a row. I woke up late and then I gave up when I shouldn't have. If I just left, I would have been there by the time Soichiro told me that. So yeah, I regretted my decision, but I didn't want to regret any more decisions. So I just decided, fuck it. Took the train to Yokohama. I did regret it. No one was there. But I called Soichiro again and he was a part of the Kendo Club. And he told me that on behalf of the Kendo Club, I'm invited to drink with them and stuff in Kanazawa Bunko, which was where I used to live and where the middle school was. So I take the train another 30 minutes south. I get there and the moment I go through the gate, there was already kids from Handball Club there. A lot of faces I knew and more people start coming. It was almost like a miracle because it almost felt like the people that I didn't know didn't come there's a couple exceptions though like all my ping pong friends didn't show up because everyone got invited through a big line group chat line is a messaging app they use in japan by the way it's always confusing when you say online because it's like are you talking about online or are you talking about online i don't know like message me online it's like what what Hi, anyway, a bunch of people show up to the train station and from there we all went to this izakaya which is a drinking place and that's where i started this vlog and so like the first 30 minutes we were all waiting outside the izakaya because it was full there was a lot of people outside there but i reconnected with a lot of people too there was something i wanted to vlog though which i didn't get on the vlog and that was seeing my childhood bully and like confronting my childhood bully i don't know not confronting but like see him again i don't know but yeah outside the izakaya in between some people i see him and he saw me we locked eyes so i went up to him and uh Literally, before I get a word in, first thing he says is, go man, which means sorry. And I acted confused for a second, but I paused and I was like, all good, all good. It was a, it was a good moment. We both grew up. The whole night was just hitting me in my feels, honestly. All kinds of memories just coming to me and nostalgia and... <laughs> And just good vibes and it feels like an anime it literally feels like an anime like in america or something you pull up in a group of four or something you're hanging out with your group of friends if it's a really big group of friends it'll be like eight to twelve or something but by the end of the night it was like a classroom and a half of kids like all getting along like all just everyone's got their own character everyone's like 
everyone's like it's like an, it's literally like an anime everyone's like their own character every individual is is unique in their own way and they're all just funny motherfuckers honestly but long story short we finally get in the izakaya it was two floors with half the kids from kanachu kanachu is short for kanazawa chugako which means kanazawa middle school but yeah then we leave after 30 minutes to go to another izakaya where we took off our shoes and we were sitting in this big tatami room all drinking and eating and stuff it was a really good time all the kids from all the different clubs were there and like i said it was perfect because it was just it was all the kids that I knew. It was all the faces I, I remember. And we stayed in that room for like two minutes. No, wait, what? And we stayed in that room for like two hours. And then after that, we leave and we're kind of just walking and talking outside. It's like a bunch of different groups. There was probably other groups that I didn't even know about at other these like I was in restaurants and stuff. But yeah, slowly some people leave. The group splits up more. But mostly everyone went to this big karaoke place. And we're all in the room just like singing and having fun. And then I go to the bathroom and I see a girl that was in my class that I didn't see at all that night. She told me she was in another room. And so I go in the room and it was literally like all the kids from our class it was probably like one third of the kids in my class and i just hung out with everyone and then we did that until five o'clock until the trains were back up and running so yeah it was a really good night it really hit me in the feels because well everyone liked me and stuff a lot of people would come and talk to me and stuff like that i was never really left out but i did feel left out a little bit just because i'm not as fluent in the language so and back then i was just kind of a pussy like i didn't want to make any mistakes so i just didn't say anything at all i don't know i was just i was just more quiet i guess that's the year i became quiet when i went to japanese middle school i mean i'm not saying i'm loud now but i just felt like i was japanese i am japanese but like i felt really like with it this time like i could really understand i was on the same vibe as everyone everyone was saying damn i'm good at japanese now and it's not even because i got that much better i'm probably still the same as i was in middle school i just don't care if i make a mistake usually i'm right or i'm close enough i get my point across you know so i just felt good it was real bittersweet just watching everyone having fun in the karaoke room it's sweet because you know the whole thing is sweet right but this is the last time it'll ever happen again if i'm being realistic i probably won't see like 99 percent of these faces again it was just just something I really cherished in the moment. I feel like this night ended a lot of unfinished business. Not just not just the bully thing, but a lot of things. Maybe it feels like that because I know that I'm probably not gonna see most of those people again. So it's like, hey, we had a good run. See you in the next life, I guess. Maybe I'll catch you some other time in life. I don't know, maybe I'm just thinking extra deep, but I did have a very special night to me in my own head. And I reconnected with a lot of people as well. It was just a rush of good vibes and, and uh, nah, see, like for every name I remembered, I would, I will call it their name, I'd be like, you know, that was you, right? And everyone would freak out and be like, oh my gosh, K, you remember me. It's like in Naruto Shippuden when everyone's grown up a little more, it's like everyone comes back and it's like, well, hey, maybe like old connections, you kind of see each other again, it's like... It's just memories, it's just memories. Everyone really cared about me, and that's cool. The reason I was alone sometimes is because I made myself alone. But there was always people like trying to help me, maybe practice English with me, or like... Just like talking to me in middle school, and I was this half American, half Japanese kid, so I was like, I was a rare delicacy. Every time I walked through the hallway, I'd get at least five kawaii's. I was that American, and I feel like before, everyone would help me fit in, but I didn't make myself fit in. But I feel like this time, it was both. But I felt like I was keeping up. I even had some deep talks with people in Japanese. Okay, maybe not that deep, but it was deep to me. It was deep to me. So yeah, I missed the reunion, but I still got to see everyone, so I'm happy. Wish I saw my teachers though, but that's all right. Anyway, make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload. And I like balloons. Okay, I'm gonna go to sleep now.